Hey everybody, KC here once again reporting to you from the WAFC convention in Palm Desert, California. And one of the things I, I love about WAFC is the connection that they have to the USC Marshall School of Business Food Industry Management Program, um, which does amazing things in terms of education for people in the industry, helping them become better leaders, ment better mentors, better visionaries, I think. And uh, one of the things that happened during the Monday general session was the presentation of a capstone uh, project that was done by some of the uh, people who just graduated uh, from the program just a few weeks ago. And it was interesting that, you know, I, I heard about it in advance and it was gonna be about quantum computing. And, and right there, my brain kind of went, uh-oh, because I don't really understand quantum computing. In fact, I, I looked it up, right? Because I wasn't quite sure what it meant. I'm aware of the term, but nah, yeah, I'm not that smart about these things. And basically quantum computing uh, basically is able to sell, solve complex problems beyond what um, traditional computers can do. And MIT says it'll have a seismic impact on business. Um, but the presentation was fascinating and they made it really applicable to the food industry. Talking about how, um, we'll start with this premise, 70% of the US is on social media, right? And something that can appears on TikTok or appears um, on YouTube or uh, any one of these, uh, Instagram, can instantly have an impact on customer behavior and can have a dramatic impact. And one of the presenters was talking about how she went into um, the, her stores and was in the uh, pasta department and noticed that it was really picked over and then went to a couple of other stores and noticed the pasta department there was kind of picked over and didn't really understand what was going on. And when she called people in the company, they didn't really understand what was going on. It was only a couple of weeks later, I think it was at Thanksgiving dinner, that she discovered that on TikTok that had been this recipe for macaroni and cheese, right? Uh, that just went crazy and like, well, there were hundreds of millions of views and, and, it, um, and, and it caught fire. And all of a sudden, people were going to the store and buying out pasta. And the thing is, there was a lot of uh, millions of dollars in sales that were lost because they weren't ready for it. And the thing about quantum computing is it, it can actually figure that stuff out in advance because it's, it's scanning um, the internet for all these kinds of trends and is able to help a retailer and a manufacturer react a lot more quickly. Um, you can capture billion dollars, billions of dollars sales, I think, over in any kind of given year uh, when you look across the whole food industry, but you also could lose billions of dollars in sales. Think of it this way. Quantum computing can do in basically 90 seconds what a traditional computer can do in eight hours. Okay? And that's an extraordinary advantage to anybody who's using it. Um, here's another stat that I found fascinating, that only 30%, 30%, of retailer vendor data is being used, right? That leaves a lot of data out there that's not being used. And how can an industry, how can players in the industry hope to compete effectively if they're not using that data? And listen, this, um, this ties into something we talked about here on the innovation conversation with Tom Furphy uh, a number of weeks ago, in the sense that in 2021, there was $5 billion in VC money being slotted towards retail industry and the food retail in business. And by 2024, that was in 130 billion. Less it is being slotted right now because retailers are, uh, are not as nimble, not as fast, not as quick to try things, not as quick to adopt things as they should be. And it seems to me this quantum um, computing presentation points that out. Retailers listening to that have to listen to that and say, okay, listen, we've got to stay on top of this because if we don't, our competition might, and that will give our competition um, an, a, 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 a huge advantage in the marketplace. And worse than it being in the competition, it could be somebody else from the outside uh, who comes into the marketplace and say, listen, we can apply this and be more responsive to customers. If you're an independent retailer, you've got to worry about Amazon or Walmart or Costco using quantum computing to figure out what customers want a lot faster. It, to me, it was fascinating and points to what the industry has to do moving forward. You know, they have to embrace things like quantum computing. And I'm really grateful to WAFC and, um, and to uh, USC, the Marshall School of, uh, of Business and the FIM program, the Food Industry Management Program, for bringing that to us today. And listen, if you're interested in finding out more about what these, these students talked about, get in touch with me and I'll put you in touch with them. 
these are incredibly smart people and they're coming out of, an, uh, out of a pair of institutions that to my mind are incredibly responsive um, and incredibly relevant to what the industry needs at this point in time. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. And as always, I wanna hear what's on your mind.